In this video, we will solve a problem on consumer surplus. The question is given the demand curve DP is equal to 20 minus 2P, P denotes the price. When the price changes from 2 to 3, what is the change in consumer surplus? The options are 2, 15, 49, and 65. Okay, so we need to find out the change in consumer surplus. So, what is our demand function? DP is equal to 20 minus 2P. Let's write it here. So, in place of DP, I can write quantity is equal to 20 minus 2p this is our you know demand curve and let's try to find the consumer surplus graphically for that let's draw the graph of this equation so here i will draw the graph uh, so we have a graph looking like this let us say we have quantity on this side price on this side okay by consumer surplus what we mean it is the difference between the price a consumer pays for a good and the price he would be willing to pay okay the difference between what he is willing to pay and what actually he pays is called the consumer surplus okay this is our demand curve let's try to uh, trace this demand curve on the graph so let us uh, take when when p is equal to 0 okay when p is equal to 0 so our q will be equal to so if p is equal to 0 this term will become 0 our q will be equal to 20 so corresponding to p is equal to 0 q is equal to 20 let us say this is 20 here and obviously q is here 0 uh, p is here 0 and similarly when let us put q is equal to 0 if we put q is equal to 0 so to draw any uh, you know line we need uh, a you know two pointers that's why we are solving it first for p and q so if we put q is equal to zero so this will become zero which implies our 20 minus 2p will be equal to zero or 2p is equal to 20 which gives us p is equal to 10 so p will be equal to 10 that means when uh, you know q is equal to zero p is 10 let us say this is a point where it is 10 now when we join these two pointers we get the demand curve so our demand curve will look like this okay so first thing was to draw the demand curve now what is the original price the price is initial price is 2 okay when price is equal to 2 what will be the quantity demanded so just plug here P is equal to 2 means our quantity demanded will be equal to 20 minus 2 in place of P we have 2 so this gives us uh, 20 minus 4 which comes out to be 16 so quantity demanded when price is equal to 2 is 16 so let us say this is a point 16 and corresponding to this let us say price is 2 sorry so when price is 2 quantity demanded is 16 now what is consumer surplus when price is 2 it is simple as I have told you the consumer surplus is the difference between the price a consumer pays that is 2 and the price that he would be willing to pay so a, a consumer would be willing to pay uh, you know any price between 2 and 10 but since he is actually paying a price of 2 so the area which is above the this price and below the demand curve denotes our consumer surplus okay so the area which is above this price line and below this red demand curve denotes our consumer surplus okay so our consumer surplus will be so let me uh, write it here uh, original consumer surplus or initially our consumer surplus will be equal to the area of this very triangle let us say this is uh, for the sake of simplicity let us say this is point a this is b this is point c so initially the consumer surplus will be area of this triangle area of triangle a b c since it is a right angle triangle its area is one half of base base is bc 
BC into height is you know AC that is one half what is BC BC is this line BC that means 16 minus 0 which is 16 so let's write it here 16 into what is AC so it is 2 and 10 the difference between 10 and 2 is 8 so this gives us two ones are two eights are 16 eight eights are 64 so the consumer surplus is initially 64 now when price has changed to 3 what will be our consumer surplus so for that let me write it again when when price is equal to 3 then what is our quantity demanded so quantity demanded will be equal to 20 minus 2 in place of p we have 3 so let's write it here 3 so quantity demanded will be equal to 20 minus sec is, is 14 okay and let's write it here when price is 3 when price is 3 let us say this is a point where it is 3 quantity demanded is 14 okay when price is 3 quantity demanded is 14 then at this price what is the uh, you know consumer surplus as I have told you the consumer surplus will lie above the price line and below the demand curve so consumer surplus this time will be or let me write it here I have the space here so consume new consumer surplus will be equal to one half of the area of this very triangle okay this triangle so this is it is base is you know we have 14 0 to 14 so this line is 14 uh, into height is 10 minus 3 which is 7 so this is 2 ones are 2 sevens are which comes out to be 7 sevens are 49 okay so new consumer surplus is 49 original consumer surplus was 64 now then the change in consumer surplus so change in consumer surplus will be equal to let us denote it c by c dash so this is equal to the original consumer surplus minus new consumer surplus c dash so originally our consumer surplus was 64 new consumer surplus is 49 that means change in consumer surplus is you know uh, 15 since consumer surplus has decreased we can also use a negative sign to show that our consumer surplus has decreased but since so nothing is being talked about and the sign is here so let's assume it is 15 okay so the change in consumer surplus is 15 that means uh, our consumer surplus will decrease by 15 when price changes from 2 to 3 okay so it is simple if i can show it here again i don't know i have that so initially the area of this whole triangle okay so let us write here the area of this whole triangle this full triangle initially this was our consumer surplus when price was 2 when price has uh, you know increased to 3 our consumer surplus has decreased to this very triangle this very triangle okay so initially this was whole quadrilateral and now it has shrunk to this triangle so the difference is 15 i hope i make myself clear thank you